In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up our exact cost tracking feature in Prospect 202 Pro. I'm on my initial startup screen, and I'm going to go to my account settings and then do personal settings. You notice that now there is a cost data preference here, and you can pick up the bid dynamically from the T202B variable or um, pick up the cost data from whatever you set up in step eight. Now, um, this feature allows you to either block the uh, passing in of external data or enable it. So when this is set, it means that it's enabled and this means that it's disabled. This prevents people from passing in cost data into your accounts when you do not want it. All right, so we'll leave it on for now. And um, let's go to the tracker setup page. All right, so we're going to grab our campaigns. So we can set our max default cost per click at 10 cents in here. And then we can also set the dynamic cost CPC token. Uh, obviously, AdWords actually does not have a dynamic CPC token, but if it had one, it may be something like bid. So you'd enter that in here and then just create the tracking link. So at the bottom here, you see the new tracking link. It's got some pre configured variables that I set up, and then we have uh, T202B, which is the uh, bid token. Um, for the traffic source. So this is the dynamic bid amount that comes in for this click. If for some reason this isn't set, then it will default to whatever you you set up on uh, over here on the CPC for this tracking link. So once it's set, it uses it. If it's not available, it drops to the default. And that's it. 